Good morning, I just woke up about half an hour ago, pretty late. Today is Boxing Day, so the streets are finally going back, um, getting their life back, so that's quite exciting. I had a long shower, and for once I have finally used a microfiber towel. I know I recently uploaded my hair care video and everybody was just freaking out about me using that towel on my head, but it's just that one. I realized that I did have a microfiber towel but it was just like somewhere over there in my kitchen and so I never used it because it was just there and then I also recently bought this but I never used it and because now I'm like kind of kind of organizing all my plates I thought you know what I might as well you know start using this so I got it from Wilco it wasn't expensive it was probably what one or two pounds probably two pounds or something like that um today I just wanted to run some errands but because it's boxing day a lot of opening times are affected so i need to get my bin out so that's just the trash i also have still one more bag of recycling over here that i still need to take and i have some of my letters so yesterday i spent some time writing my letters for new year and i really like that um and i was thinking of going to the post office to post them but a lot of post offices are closed so either I go and I run all these errands in random different places because of the different opening times or if I wait until tomorrow then I can do everything at once I still need to decide about that um, so I really like the the tradition of writing my New Year's letters essentially it's for people whom I don't typically see so that I have some people in my network that I just never physically see just because of where they are geographically and because we are not on whatsapp terms right um, because I don't really call I'm not an email person or anything like that and so every few months and usually on the new year I try to write a letter so the first one is for uh, somebody who I used to I mean I didn't work with him but he's somebody who's extremely senior at what, what, what was my um, main client uh, a couple of years ago uh, we developed a personal relationship as in I am friends with members of his family so um, so it was never work related it's just that we bumped into each other at work um, and he really liked my personality and I became really friends with his daughter and stuff so um, when I decided to leave Belgium I did once I arrived in London I did email uh, sent him a letter ex explaining my decision to leave it and things like that and he just sent me a letter back wishing me good luck and everything um, so that was about six months ago or something and so now in the new year I just sent him another letter to tell him that actually things are doing well and I really like my job I like my new place and everything so that's a bit that the second letter so that was a like a big Christmas card the second card is for my mentor from my previous job and uh, I am in touch with him over WhatsApp, but it's just a bit awkward because it's just like, oh, so I'm going to be in London and let's just meet for coffee. So I just don't feel like giving a whole download. It's always great every time we catch up because we go and find a restaurant. But I know that he is also an extremely busy man. He's older and very, very senior. So it just, I think it would be nice to just send a very nice Christmas card to his, to his house. And... Uh, Probably I'm sending all of this um, either today or tomorrow so it should arrive um, in a few days so it will be like the first week of Jan. And then the third letter that I'm sending is actually a proper letter and it's for the daughter of the first uh, man and it's because I lost touch with her because I was, <sighs> I messed up my, my phones and everything and she sent me WhatsApp email message and all of that but I just wasn't able to get in touch and so I just sent her a letter and gave her my new number um, so I am using now this phone so I ha this is my old this is my old uh, phone from work it's my it's my older iPhone I think uh, it was a 6x or something and before that I was using an Android and I was not able to transfer all my messages from Android to iPhone and that was a bit of a pain so now I have my normal phone for work and I also have my personal phone, both of them are iPhones, but I have lost all my WhatsApp threads, which is why now I have to make a more, uh, let's say, a bigger effort trying to reach out to people. Um, I still have a couple of letters that I might need to send. Uh, one would be to the US and the other one, I need to track a lady because I lost touch with her. Uh, she might have returned to Canada, but we will see. 
But yeah, I think that this is a very good exercise because it just allows me to reflect on the year past and just think about what I want to do for the next year. And I think it's almost like scrapbooking because for me it involves very good writing paper, nice ink. I always write in, um, in emerald ink. I'm not going to show you one of the letters because they have both my address and the people's address, but I can show you the ink. So, I always write in this green ink. You guys know that I love green colored, uh, green everything. And this is the Mont Blanc, um, it's called Irish Green. I really like it. So I just fill my fountain pen and I write with that. I have special uh, stationery that I get from Mount Street printers. So here, oops. Okay, I need to put it somewhere so I can show you. Ooh, la, la. So this is the paper that I like to use, it's an ivory, they call it oyster, so this specific color I think is called oyster, but I like a warmer color, not sure whether it catches on camera, but I just feel that the green ink looks better. These are the envelopes that go with it, so I always write a letter and fold it once, and that's it. And then I have some Christmas cards in here, um, these are the ones with the robin on the, on the letter box and actually they had run out of these but I was very politely quite insistent and so they printed extra ones for me and I managed to go away with the box so I think I asked like three times <laughs> sometimes it's worth being insistent and I don't even know how I did it because typically I, I if they say no I just go but and here I have a bunch of stamps you could obviously see uh, oh there was a sports car very weird sports car actually these are all the British ones um, and you can see that actually the ones that I use most of the time are the Euro ones or world ones um, these are just small thank you cards and then I have my personal stamp so I do a wax seal how do I hold on so it does have my initials you guys know i love having my initials on it on it, everything so it's ho i mean for those of you who are new to my channel uga is actually not my first name it's the contraption of my last name which is very common mostly for males you know like when somebody's like called Spencer and you call him Spinny or something when that's their last name but I do it for mine too so Uga is just the first part of my last name and I've been going with that name for the past 20 years or so so I like that it's just a wax that you melt and it get, and makes uh, your own personalized stamp and so what I like about this is that every year I end up just buying a little bit of that and so eventually you end up having your own stationary suit and once I move to my permanent house I will definitely have personalized stationery made for me can't wait I almost thought of doing it for this specific house but then I was like maybe that's not necessary my gr breakfast is going to be the usual just granola I'm trying to finish some of the stuff that I have and here is the granola and then some milk All right. there you go funny thing is that this is non-homogenized milk so every time that I have to use it I have to shake it kind of like the old days of people making milk but yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. I'll have breakfast now. Hey, so I just had breakfast. I hate this thing in my skin. I need to do my eyebrows actually. I'm probably gonna do my eyebrows today, but I just had my breakfast. It's actually 11.30 and um, I realized that Waitrose is closed. I can't go in the groceries. There is a very high risk that the post office is closed, although on the website it says it's open. And I forgot to tell you why I did, I'm going to the post office because I already have put my, um, my stamps but the thing is that i'm using a thicker paper and the postcards are a bit bigger so i just wanted to make sure that what the weight is so that i know for all the other cards that i'm gonna have so as soon as i know what is the weight of these either i'm gonna know that the stamps that i have put are okay or that i'm gonna have to have additional stamps and then i'm gonna keep this in mind for all my future correspondence because i still don't know the system here i know that for the uk you just put one stamp first class 
it arrives up to 100 grams but because i'm sending these letters to abroad i just needed to to know it once and for all and uh i usually just buy stamps because etiquette rule you don't actually put your envelopes in the franken machine you actually put stamps ideally they should be cuter looking stamps than this but fine i couldn't be bothered it has the queen on it right oh there's a cute taxi with the chanel oh, they have changed the taxis in london um, i don't know if i had mentioned this but it's quite cute so if i want to go to the post office it's this way if I want to go to the donation thing, it's this way. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring my little um, donation bag, go all the way to the Chelsea Royal Hospital, drop it, and then walk back there um, for Eccleston Post Office. Because this way, it's like walking between Chelsea and then coming back and then going to Belgravia where I live and then coming back to Belgravia. Um, I shouldn't be lazy about this because it's going to be a nice walk. So uh, I just dropped the um, clothes right behind me at the back and right now I'm going to Eccleston Street. So right now we're going past the Chelsea Pensioners Hospital. I really like it. Sorry about it being so noisy. I think it's just because everybody just started um, going out today essentially. And all the buses, you can see there are so many buses because people are now traveling around and everything. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to finally be able to take the, the letters. I'm going to show you a bit of my neighborhood. So this is uh, the end of Chelsea. This is the end of Chelsea. And we're going into Belgravia right now. So this is the Royal Hospital, Chelsea, and this is Franklin's Law Row, and this is where I go to get my groceries. So if you go, if you go from there, you can go to um, Sachi Gallery, and then you go to the King's Road way in the back. That's the rest of the Royal Chester Hospital. I'm gonna show you a building that I actually. The other day in my previous vlog i was talking about wanting to move into the chelsea barracks which is actually next to where i am um because i really like how the building is so i'm going to show you how nice it actually looks so this is it it's called chelsea barracks and every day i just pass by it and i think i need to get an apartment here we'll see how that works out but I really, really like it. They've been building it for over a year now. And I think it's going to take something like two more years until completion. All of Bimli Korod is a lot of interior design and furniture. So these are all the facades. And this has got to be my favorite. This is my favorite gallery in Bimli Korod. It's called Ransom. And I really like these. Every time I just stop by and I think that they're really, really cute. The things that I'm not even into modern art, but everything that they put up here is just so nice. So every time I just stop by and I think, I think eventually I'm gonna get this one. It's a Bombardieri piece. And uh, he usually does like these big sculptures in large places, like, city squares and stuff so this is just a miniature of it <laughs> this is Lily they do bespoke things for the house and this is the last of their Christmas facade and these they have um, like scents, room scents and things like that and I, every time that I walk past it which is essentially every day when I'm in London they have some incense burning so I really like that they have incense burning Mozart's Terrace. Actually, the square over there, you have a tiny statue of Mozart. So, 
this is called Ibri Street it's just that one bit that is called Mozart and that's where I'm going straight so that I get to my post office drop these see Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart lived here So the post office was closed and I just decided that anyway I will just post them so instead of waiting until tomorrow I just didn't feel like it so I kind of just posted the, the letters and I'm hoping that the stamp that I have put is enough I mean it is the same stamp that I have used last year it's just that um, the postcards are slightly bigger I don't think it's gonna be um, heavier than 20 grams but we'll see if they never make it then it was not meant to be that's my lazy mind um justifying this but now i'm just gonna go home and um yeah see what i'm gonna do with the rest of my day we're about to pass peggy portion which is <laughs> all the wannabe instagrammers slash influencers heaven and even though it's boxing day and normally not many people are in the street you will still have people lining up so i'm gonna just zoom you guys in so you can see it's very annoying because every single day i pass by and every single day you have people like that doing this but it's fine that's the little stage of mozart you can't really see it well Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and we're here in the orange square yeah. so I just touched up my eyebrows I'm preparing something to eat it's just reheating stuff that was in my freezer and right now what this is my bullet journal stuff I'm gonna do it later but right now I'm actually preparing my travel bag so I thought I would show you what I have in my travel makeup I'm not gonna travel anytime soon but you know probably in it's gonna be two or three weeks until I travel again but I usually always have my bag ready so the first thing that I have is my foundation it's the ordinary foundation ordinary colors then I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder which is a two-in-one powder and um, foundation for coverage this is Boots number no. 7 um, blush I had bought it from the airport and I ended up really liking it so I'm keeping that then I have my travel size brushes so I have these ones there all of them are actually from Real Techniques this is the mini multitask brush I use one for powder one for brush and then a blush and then I have another one for foundation so normally I'm good enough with just this stuff but I like to do my eyebrows so I have an eyebrow pencil this is one from L'Oreal I think it's quite beat up but does a good job and then for the and then I have my I think it is Yves Rocher yeah this is an Yves Rocher eye pencil it's just a black eye pencil for this when I actually feel like putting on makeup I have this tiny sleek palette you can already see I hit pan on two colors it almost never happened on my previous projects but I'm keeping the hope alive so I have this and then this tiny brush from Sephora it's a smudger brush but I actually use it for this sleek palette and that would be it and all of this fits in this little Muji bag I think it was overpriced I think it was over 10 pounds maybe 15 so yeah I wouldn't repurchase it again but because I have it I just use it so here goes dun, 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 dun. and it comes here in my travel bag and now I have everything that I need this side of my travel bag almost never changes so I have here some sanitary pads I have some medicine in here my liquids I don't need to keep liquids somewhere sp different but just in case I have to do air travel then I will have just this and put this foundation in here then I have my makeup bag, lint roller, baby lotion wipes to clean surfaces and stuff like that. And here I have additional things like contact lens solution and things like that. Typically in full size just because I am traveling by car or by train. But if I were to do anything by air, I would just buy these things in travel size at the airport. So that's my bag and it lives here. 
under this Yamazaki thingy. Ta-da! Back to my infamous kitchen lighting. Um, so I ended up having lunch, late lunch, so I had pheasant with uh, quinces, so that's sforzel, it's like a tagine. And then I ended up having crepe from yesterday and having ice cream and all of that because I was starving. But I made a massive batch of chili con carne and I'm just waiting for it to cool down a bit and then I'm going to eat that and then save um, a, a little bit for later. And then I'm gonna call it a day. So I just wanted to close the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed having a tour in my neighborhood. I don't always show you guys around because I'm not sure. Because I don't really venture a lot outside of Chelsea and Belgravia. I know it sounds a little bit um, pretentious, but actually it's, it's more laziness than me not wanting to explore the rest of London. I'm just tired all of the time and usually I don't have time. So I'd rather stick to places I know and where I know I I like the architecture, I like the shops, I like everything in there. Tomorrow, I'm going for a long, long walk in Holland Park. Um, they have peacocks and things like that, so um, I think so. So I'm going to just explore that. I think I'm going to go for like two or three hours. Just me and a book and maybe a snack and try to just embrace nature. Yep, yeah, so that was it for today's vlog. I will see you very soon on my channel. Take care.